This is how we're starting out the week. Kevin at Kroger checking out. We got us a free Friday. We got some goodies. You'll see all this in the grocery haul though. This will be like a week old by the time you see it. So this, these machines, they've really updated these machines because they actually talk to you. They go through and they tell you like this is two ninety nine, this is three ninety nine. Don't like it. You don't like it that it talks to you. So he would rather probably put it on mute than have it. Can you mute it than have it talk to you? No. I'm out back and I don't have my vlogging camera so I'm filming this on my phone but I just found a praying mantis uh, do you see it it's right here see it right there I don't know if I'm getting out if I'm uh, showing it well or not isn't that the coolest thing praying mantises are oh that's a good shot of it Praying mantises are really, really good for your garden. It's right there. There it is. Now you can see it. Yeah, they're really, really good for your garden now. Um, it probably does not like me at all. It's looking at me. Oh my goodness, it's looking at me. It's looking at me like I'm going to jump in your face and suck your brains out. That's how it's looking at me. I won't hurt you, I promise. I'm going away. Yes, I'll go away. I will not touch you. I promise. But I haven't actually seen a praying mantis in the garden in a little while. So I thought I would show it to you. Oh, now you're looking this way. I'm just showing you on camera. And now we will go. I'm going to move you out of the way. Yes. And I'm going to leave you right there. <laughs> These smell really good. They're growing out of the hostas. And unfortunately, I'll show you, we have to get past there. That's the way to get out of the gate to the um, recycling and the Herbie to throw the garbage away. So unfortunately, every time we go by, we lose some leaves. But those are, um, those are really, really pretty. I just didn't realize they, they smelled as good as they do. So here's a shot of the backyard. Look, Guido's up there waiting to go in. Uh, hug. I'm not in there. Look, he thinks I've gone in or something. He can't hear me. He has no idea that I'm sitting here watching. He's looking at the back door like, uh, is she going to come and give me a treat? Well, no, Pugs, because I'm out here. Okay. <laughs> so, here's a shot of the backyard with my flags. And I love them. And I appreciate everyone that told me uh, in last week's vlog that they love them. I'm sorry I'm having to film this with my phone. Um, but I didn't know I would see that praying mantis. So that's so cool. I'm glad I could get that on camera for you because I guarantee you if I went inside to get my vlogging camera and came back out, it would be gone. Let's see if it's still there. It's probably run off. Nope, he's still there, I see. He's still there. I'm surprised. Where's Guido? Oh, there he is. Oh, he's going to pee on the porch. Nope. Nope, now he's looking like, where is she? Where is she? I thought I saw her come around here with that stupid camera of hers. Where did she go? <laughs> it's going to go down there. Nope, no, he's looking for me. He's looking for me. Hey, <laughs> look, is he gonna see me waving? I'm trying to wave at him. Look, he has no clue. Pug, look. Hi. <laughs> is he gonna come up here? He's 
that I'm not even wasting my time. I'm sorry. I was playing with you. I was playing with you. I was trying to play hide and seek or chase, but you weren't up for it, were you? You weren't up for the chase. You're funny. It is the next day and um, I came out to bring the garbage out to the Harvey because yesterday I emptied the recycling. Today I emptied the garbage. I know, usually I do them both at one time, but it was just, it was full. Anyway, the amazing thing is, is this praying mantis is still here. Literally, it's it's still here. I don't know if I can turn this while I'm filming. So there, there's, there he is, there's the praying mantis. He or she is still here. I'm just shocked because you wouldn't, I wouldn't have not thought that it would have spent the night. Yes, it's looking at me again. That is so creepy. Let's go this way and see if it turns its head this way. Oh, it's going to be like an owl. It's going to turn its head all the way around. Kevin's working on something. This and that. That's all I finished. Okay. Does anyone have any clue what this is? I haven't said. Does anyone know what this is from those two pieces? Probably not. Okay, so I'm gonna show you. <laughs> he is working on the haunted mansion. Did I get this for you for Christmas? Yeah. Okay. I got this for him for Christmas, and it's September. Uh -huh. I think so, we put it together too fast. I was waiting for it. So you have had this for uh, a long time, and it's finally putting it together. Uh, and a lot of, uh, not a lot of you, but some of you have told me that you have bought these for your um, loved ones to put together. And so I hope uh, you enjoy putting them together. They, it's not, um, it's not easy. It's very, it takes somebody that's very, very patient. Uh, you it's have tedious. to, it's tedious. You have to have some tools, um, just a couple of tools. Kevin has talked about this on his uh, Movie HQ channel, but it's not something that you can put together fast. I mean, I can't even put together Legos. I, can, I can't even do follow the directions on Legos, so I would never be able to do anything like this. I mean, look how small this is. Very, very uh, little bitty pieces. So anyway, he decided to put this one together because he has several, and Morgan and Chris even sent him a gold Dalek, uh, but he knows that I'm starting to get uh, bias. I bought a couple of new Halloween decorations and put them out. And so this is uh, something that I'll enjoy, you know, for Halloween, even though I'll keep it out year round. I'll especially enjoy it during Halloween. So that's why he decided to do this one today. So when he's finished with it, um, I'll show it to you. And he always puts, um, he always puts it on Instagram. Uh, he always puts a, a picture of it on Instagram as well when he's finished. So, is your Instagram Movie HQ? Mm -hmm. Movie HQ. So, if you want to uh, follow him over there, then you'll be able to see uh, see it close up put together. But I try to always remember to, to show it during the vlog too. So, here is Kevin's haunted mansion. We ought to uh, try to... Uh, keep track of time like what time you start what time you finish so that we'll know at four so that three, we'll know three hours or so. yeah three hours so that gives you an idea of the patience you have to have and that's three hours with maybe a 10 minute break you know that's three continuous hours so that chimney's cool hmm. uh, the chimney it looks like bricks are like broken out of it yeah. out of the chimney i've never noticed that on the building and that's the back of it, which we've never seen, I don't think. You like it? Mm-hmm. It's pretty cool. I like it, too. And it's sturdy. It's very locked in place. Uh, they have tombstones out here yeah, up front. I wonder if the, if the... Um, I wonder if the actual Haunted Mansion at, in Florida has tombstones out front like that. Because you can't, you can't really see up there flat, you know? So it just, it makes me wonder if, if those are really there. That's really nice though. I love it. it looking at this makes me want to look at my pictures to study them to see maybe if I can see those tombstones. I like that little uh, embellishment over the door too. Mm -hmm. 
A few weeks ago in the mail, Morgan and Chris sent this to Kevin as a present. Uh, they sent him a zebra, and then he has a dinosaur as well. What brand is this? Nano Block. Nano Block. Nano Block. And these, uh, Micro it's Micro-sized building blocks. Yeah. And this is, how many pieces does it have? 180. 180 pieces uh, for the zebra. So. It was $11. Yeah, that's uh, expensive. So thank you, Morgan and Chris, uh, for sending that to him. He is getting started. I'll tell you what time it is. Once he gets it out and gets started, I'll tell you what time it is. That way you'll know how long it took him to put this zebra together. Because just a while ago, I showed you the metal earth and we were like, or I said, I wish we had kept uh, time so we would know how long it took. But now these are different than metal earth, much different. But, um, I think it'll be fun. I wonder why they put them in different... Mm, a different size box. So, like, these are, like, one and two. These are one and two. Uh, one, one... Yeah, these are one twos as well. Oh, are There's they? There's probably um, different boxes, packages you're supposed to open for each one, but it doesn't say. They're not numbered. None of the packages are numbered. Hmm, hmm. Maybe you just dump them all out. Maybe they're just... Yeah, none of the packages are numbered. No clue. So what are you going to do? Just open them as you need them? So this is how the directions look. And I guess you're going to look for the first part you need, huh? Yeah, because I don't think they're in here. Okay. Well, it is one one forty. It's one thirty-eight. We'll say it's one forty by the time he opens this. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna put this package right here because it's got the big, the big one. And... So this is what it's gonna end up looking like, and that is a lot of different uh, 180 pieces. That's a lot of pieces uh, oh, is... in a little bitty space. <laughs> Nano block is an extremely micro-sized building block born in Japan. The smallest part is a mere 4 by 4 by 5 millimeters. Fun to make, fun to display, and fun to collect. Nano block is a stimulating and entertaining hobby material for everybody, especially for grown-ups. And you can go to www.diablock, D-I-A-B-L-O-C-K, dot C-O, dot jp forward slash nano block forward slash so, or you can go to <laughs> i didn't see this one www.nanoblocksus.com <laughs> of course I, I found the long one but these are so teeny tiny no, very small i mean like look at kevin's finger that's kevin's finger and that's one I'm of the pieces have a hard time picking up some of these yeah you will this is like full with little barbie things or poly pockets yeah those poly pockets those poly pockets were so tiny so anyway i'm gonna let him work it's 139 technically so since the bags weren't numbered what we did was we opened all the bags kevin opened like two bags and I opened two, and then we um, sorted them out, and this is how tiny they are. I mean, like, I had trouble sitting these up to picking these up. The camera's not going to focus on those. I had trouble picking those up to turn them over because they're so small, uh, but I wanted to set those up because they're rounded, and then they have some uh, brown ones that are rounded. Well, I guess they're black. They look brown, but they're black, they're black aren't they? Okay. So, uh, so I set those up because they're rounded. But so you sort them out, and they do have different pieces in each bag. Uh, so even though Kevin had like these are just a one, but they're long at the bottom. So I have ones, but they're they're short at the bottom. And I'm sure if you play with Lego you know this but I've never like assembled a Lego set so um, I'm not used to this when Gavin and I would get the Legos out I would just build a, I like just building towers I'm very mm -hmm. basic <laughs> you know so I'm checking in with Kevin and um, 
He said he's almost finished, but there's a lot of uh, pieces still left here. Yeah, they must give you extras. Uh, he said he has two legs, and that's it? Just the two legs? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, you must get some extra pieces in case you flick one off the table. Because <laughs> if one hit this floor, we would never find it. No, you would no. never, ever. If it was white, we would find it. But one of these black ones, you would never see it again. <laughs> Now, the one of the cats would find it, wouldn't they? Sooner or later. <laughs> so there it is. It is 2.20. And you started at 1.40. Yeah, is that right? Bad. So that didn't take you long at all. No, it's not too bad. No, that's cool. So did you enjoy that? Yeah, the, first, the hardest part was putting the very beginning together because you don't have anything to snap them onto. Once you got that going, it was pretty cool. They make whole buildings with these. Ah, uh, yeah. Thousands of pieces. So Kevin's degree is finally going to get home. We bought these frames at Michael's, and they'll be in last week's haul. Yeah, and see, they, don't, they didn't make one this They big. did not make one that big. So, uh, I think you're going to have to take it off the top. Because once you put it in the frame, it's never going to come out again. No, it's quite Um... So you're just going to have to measure. You need to get your mat out, your nice mat. Yeah. And uh, you'll have to cut it. He has a nice mat that he uses for paper uh, projects. I don't know why they make it that big. I don't either. I mean. But they didn't have any. These these frames are made for degrees. I think it was the biggest ones they had. Yeah, it was the biggest ones they had. stitch of Beauty and the Beast for Ashley and he worked on it all summer long and so now uh, we bought a frame for it at Michael's and this was like the other frame it was in last week's grocery haul but he is putting something around the edge and uh, then we're gonna put it in the frame so I figured I would capture this moment and then I'll show you how it looks once it gets in the frame. But he did one of these for Andrew uh, years ago. You gave it to him for, I don't want to mess you up, for Christmas. Mm -hmm. And so I'm sure it's in one of our Christmas videos. Because um, I think, I'm wondering if we were living here. We weren't living here when uh, Kevin. Yeah, we were over in the other place. When uh, Kevin, yeah, so, but Andrew has his, and his is a, it's a tiger, isn't it? A tiger. It's a tiger, and uh, it's really cool looking. Sure. Yes. It doesn't cover it up. Is it dirty? Is that frame dirty on the inside or the outside? Because one way or another, it's dirty. It's on the outside. Okay. Yeah. It's just okay, so we need to, we need to clean it. So here it is finished. We had to uh, we had to clean the. We had to take it back apart. <laughs> we had to clean the glass. But here's how it looks, and I love the frame that we found. Looks really really nice. I wanted to show you the rain, um, how bad it's raining. Today is uh, Tuesday, and we were off yesterday. Everybody was off for the holiday, and we didn't do one thing. I mean, really, it was just a day to relax. Uh, but it has been storming all morning long, and I'm trying to get a... Yeah, you can see. I was trying to zoom into the street more so that you could see how bad it's raining. Because uh, it, it's just been going all day long. So I feel bad for Ashley because, you know, she's at college uh, walking from class to class. I have two things to show you. Kevin went had a meeting this afternoon and he came home with two things. I've shown you this before. This is the uh, woohoo, you are the deal, BCTC odd, A-U-D. What is that? Huh? Academic workforce 
academics and workforce development leadership. You can tell I wasn't in on that. Um, uh, it, he got this, which they pass it around, and uh, they somebody had to vote for Kevin to get this, saying he did a good job at something. And so next week, at the next meeting, he will give it to somebody else saying that they did a good job. He also got, this is the one I really want to show you, he got a damn it doll and they sell these um at hallmark I, they probably sell them other places too but i've seen them at hallmark it says whenever things don't go so well and you want to hit the wall and yell here's a little damn it doll that you just can't do without just grasp it firmly by the legs and find a place to slam it and as you whack the stuffing out yell Damn it, damn it, damn it. That's what it's for. So, <laughs> are you going to yell? Yeah. What I would like to do, what I would like to do. Come here. <laughs> Hello. Well, what I would love to do. Yeah. If I could find an exact duplicate of this while I have, I'm, this is the first time I've ever gotten this because I'm pretty laid back. I don't get angry yeah, about Kevin stuff, so, never gets angry um, about anything. If I could find an exact duplicate of this, yeah. I would buy it Yeah. and tear it up. Oh. And and take it back in next week and go, man, I had the roughest week. Here's the damn <laughs> it doll. And have the stuffing coming out of it and have a, have a knife stuck in it, you know, all kind of stuff. <laughs> that and would then, be um, funny. And, you know, you get a laugh and then say, no, this is the real one. I like but, that idea. But I, don't, I could never get a duplicate of that. No. They they come in all different patterns. and Oh, yeah, different hair, different Yeah, everything. different hair, different everything. If um, you got one that was close, you could probably pull it off. And it's uh, www.com dammitdolls.com yep. uh, if you're interested in getting one so I think it's a cute gift I think these uh, this would make a great stocking stuffer if you're looking for somebody for something uh, a relative for something different for Christmas or if you just have a friend that's going through a tough time uh, if you know somebody in the hospital who um, has cancer or they're going through a rough patch or they're you know they're experiencing something uh, something traumatic you could give them this and just let them just whack it and you know I just just think that it's a cute idea so uh, to get your frustrations out so I thought you all would just enjoy seeing those things I have been using this Heinz unfiltered all-natural apple cider vinegar it has it's with the mother um, whatever that means I know you all some of you know what that means honestly it, it doesn't matter to me I just know it's supposed to be the healthy version but now someone suggested I use Bragg's with the mother is that in Bragg's as far as I know it's just a name brand if there is no difference in the Bragg's and in the Heinz then I want to keep buying the Heinz because it is half the price Heinz was literally like four dollars and fifty cents whereas the Bragg's is twelve dollars it's expensive so if the Braggs has other benefits, specific benefits that you all could tell me, uh, I would appreciate knowing that because I will spend more if I need to. Uh, but for right now, I have this. And what I've been doing, I have not been measuring anything. I use that much water. And I do, um, somebody told me, I wanna say K, I could be completely wrong. Told me that I only need one tablespoon. But I've been using two tablespoons. Yes, the cat is in the sink. I've been using two, ta oh, two tablespoons of this. There's one. And I spill a little bit every time. There's two. The cat's in the sink. Don't fear, we wipe it out before <laughs> Before we do the dishes, we wipe it out. So, um, I just literally pour it in here and drink it. And I'll drink that entire glass. And I drink it all at one time. I don't like sip it or whatever. But someone told me that they could hardly get it down, the apple cider vinegar in water like this um if you're not used to it i can see where that would bother you however 
When I gr was growing up, I'm gonna turn this water off now. I don't think he was drinking the water anyway. When I was growing up, my mom would cut cucumber, and I still do this, would cut cucumber and put it in vinegar and put it in a bowl on the table. We'd keep it in the refrigerator to keep it cold, but then when dinner time would come, she would put it on, uh, on the table and we would have the cucumbers in the vinegar. That vinegar tastes just like this. So I think nothing of this. This is like, this, this just reminds me of that. But it says, um, it says Heinz unfiltered cider vinegar is made from 100% all natural apples and crystal clear water. Unfiltered and unpasteurized Heinz unfiltered cider vinegar is an expression of cider vinegar in its most wholesome and natural form. Ideal for your favorite salads, marinades, and recipes. Heinz unfiltered cider vinegar retains the mother of vinegar, a compound created naturally during vinegar's fermentation process. Whether used for cooking or for its countless other benefits, Heinz unfiltered cider vinegar is sure to please. And if, so if this has any health benefits, I guess they're not allowed to put that on there unless, I guess if there's no scientific proof that it actually does certain things, they're not allowed to put it on the bottle. Now, I can't remember when we bought this, but I've been, I've been doing this for at least four days. That's, I've used two tablespoons every day, and that's only, that's as far as, as I've gotten, about, I'm sure it's been four days. It's that easy. So, um, not notice anything. I don't know what I'm supposed to be noticing. I think the person who recommended it said that it helps with bloating. I haven't noticed anything. I haven't noticed uh, if, if I'm supposed to lose weight. I haven't noticed that yet. I haven't noticed um, a de decrease in bloating. I, I don't have a problem with bloating to be honest. Um, I haven't had to go to the bathroom. You know what I mean? Any more, any less. Um, I haven't noticed that I'm feeling better because I don't feel bad anyway. For me, uh, I have not noticed any health benefits at all. So maybe you all can tell me what I'm supposed to notice. I just, I don't. I think this is going to sound mean, but I, I think a lot of people get used to taking stuff like this. So they're afraid not to take it anymore. They're afraid, oh, if I stop taking it, then that stuff's gonna happen to me. Like, like if you believe this helps you to lose weight, then you're gonna be afraid to stop drinking it because you're gonna be afraid you're gonna gain weight. I don't, I, I don't believe things like that. So, um, just like Dr. Oz, Dr. Oz had this big thing about this, um, Oh gosh, Guardium Cambogia. What was the name of that stuff? Oh my gosh. Anyway, it sounds like uh, a spell from Harry Potter. Uh, when Guardium Leviosa, um, it's something Cambogia, something anyway, it's something like that. Anyway, Dr. Oz was touting this stuff and uh, these pills and they were supposed to help you lose weight and all this stuff and they're expensive they are not cheap so i bought those for several months thinking you know what i really don't believe this but i'll i'll, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt he's on tv he's a doctor in my opinion he looks way too thin um but he's a doctor uh you know we'll we'll see no, it, they never did anything. I took the pills, they never did a thing. I came off the pills and they never did a thing. And I took them for months. I not just, not just a week or not just two weeks, months and, and nothing. So 
I'm not one to believe in like remedies and uh, stuff like that. I mean, I want to see proof. So if, if somebody says uh, you're gonna lose weight on this, well then I wanna see just by doing this, just by drinking this or doing this, I'm gonna lose weight, really? Now, like I said in the beginning, I don't know what this is supposed to do. I don't remember, um, I could have sworn the person said that it was for bloating. But like I said, I've never had a problem with bloating anyway. So I'm not gonna notice anything. So I wish that some of you all would tell me, if you drink this, why do you drink this? What benefits? Some people might say, oh, well, you don't get sick as often. I don't get sick very often anyway. So that's, I mean, that's literally, there. if that's the only point in me drinking it, then I may as well not drink it because I don't get sick that often to begin with and I don't have a problem with bloating and um, I'm watching my calories for weight loss. I don't need this to help me with that. So if you could tell me something different, um, and, and I'm not trying to sound mean about it at all because it's not like you saw me drink it. It's not like it's any effort at all. But I would just like to know what are the other benefits supposed to be and do you specifically have to buy the brags? It, what does the brags do that the Heinz doesn't do? Because I would much rather pay $4 versus the $12, definitely. So, and I want you to see, Chapel's not supposed to be up here. Yep, he is not supposed to be up there. He, there's no reason it got dark, I'm sorry. I don't know why it got dark. There we go. Chapel, you're not supposed to be up there. Get down. And then he gets really mad. Get down. He does not like to be top chapel. Come on. You're not supposed to be down up there. Parish. What are you doing, baby? Chapel's just licking. I think where he was in the sink, he got water all over him, and so now he's having to lick it off. Parish, are you a good boy? Chapel gets jealous. Oh, and here's Guido. Guido's just waiting to see where I'm gonna sit down so that he can sit down. If I'm gonna sit down in the kitchen, he'll lay in this bed. If I'm going in the bedroom, he'll lay in that bed. He doesn't wanna get comfortable here till he knows where I'm going. Kevin got a package from the P.O. Box today. This is from Sherry in Alabama, and it says perishable, and then on the back it even says do not bend, perishable. So I'm gonna cut it. No, just no? stick the, yeah, because if there'd been a piece of paper or something, Cut right through it. There wasn't, but there are these bars. Oh, oh, these are the Millville. These are okay. These are the Aldi yeah. brand. We have tried Millville in other things, but not these. Thank you so much because this is the crunchy uh, peanut butter granola bar, like I eat. And this is the peanut uh, sweet and salty that Kevin eats. So what we will do is we will do a video and compare them. Absolutely, I can't wait to try these because um, we do not get to Aldi very often. <coughs> it's, it's one of those stores where it's not convenient. I don't think it's convenient. Uh, it's just, it's not a place where it's not in an area where we normally go to shop because like when we go they're both in lexington they have two and when we go to lexington we shop on in in one certain area and the aldi's are in another area completely so it's just not you're gonna i didn't think i was like, yeah, I, think <laughs> I didn't think i was right before i sit down <laughs> i scared him <laughs> oh she'd scare me go away <laughs> anyway Thank you very, very much. Um, I appreciate it. We'll do a review on both of these and we will be very honest and tell you maybe these will be um, better. I don't know how much they cost, so I don't know how much cheaper they are. Uh, so you all will have to let me know if you know the price of these. Or Sherry, if you're watching this, um, if you will let me know the price below, that way I'll know about, you know, because like Nature Valley, you can get them on sale for $250. Uh, 
um, when it's a good sale. And these, it would be nice to know if they were, maybe if they're $2. It has been about a month since I've been on this elliptical. Um, wouldn't you say, Kevin, it's probably been a month? <laughs> and uh, I'm filming, so Chapel comes over here. Look at me, look at me. Chapel, we see you, Chapel. We see you, Chapel. Yes, I saw you. I promise I showed you. Yes. Yes, we saw your little furry face. As a matter of fact, we saw you earlier. Yeah, because you got in trouble. He was sitting on the counter where he wasn't supposed to be sitting. Yeah. yeah. I was filming, I was talking, and he was behind me on the counter. Um, over there by the bread, of all places. Well, first he was in the sink. <laughs> um, so anyway, my elliptical has not worked in like a month, and I have been getting all of my exercise from the, um, my hair is pulled up because uh, I was cleaning today. Um, actually, I pulled it up and down, up and down because I think earlier we opened that package and I had pulled it down. So, uh, but anyway, I have been getting all my uh, calories uh, from the um, exercise bike. And it, Honestly, I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed, I think I've said that before, I've enjoyed going out there and watching TV in the morning. I watch Mad Men, and then I'll flip it over to a YouTube video, and I've enjoyed that quite a bit, and I know now how hard I need to work to make sure that I get the same calories that I do on this bike, because if you take your time, you're not going to burn off the same amount of calories, but... Uh, you have to work a little bit harder, and then you can burn off the same amount of calories on the bike as I do on the elliptical. Uh, so, I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I don't know if I'll to say that I've missed it. Um, I don't know. I, I think I just like having the option, you know, of having either one. I mean, once he fixes it, I'll definitely go back to doing the elliptical in the morning. But I like the option of having both. That way, if I get on the elliptical in the morning and burn off all my calories, then maybe in the afternoon or in like like mid-morning when I want like a hundred calorie bar or something, it would be nice to be able to go out on the bike and burn off the hundred calories instead of always depending on the elliptical for everything because then it gets kind of old. That's just like with this bike. I, I think it just gets old to have that as my only way of burning calories. Yeah, this is uh, not fun. Um, Nope, not I asked Kevin, I said, what would people do if this broke down on them? And, you know, he said most people would call in a repairman. I can't even imagine how much that would cost. So, I'm very fortunate that uh, Kevin is able to look at directions and uh, that, he, that he wants to learn things like that and he enjoys doing it and, you know, it's like a puzzle to him. So... Anyway, I'm very excited about it. And there's Chapel. There's Chapel. Say, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We see you again. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Because you're a big boy. You're a big boy. Yes. You're a good boy. I got back to my elliptical this morning. And I tell you what, it was, it was, it felt so bizarre, uh, to be back at it today. It's, it, after not being on the elliptical for, uh, so long, it was just, it felt so foreign to me and to use my arms the entire time because I think I showed before on that bike, I had to keep my arms straight down and move them back and forth like this to get my steps on the bike. And I knew it wasn't counting the right number of steps because my legs on that bike were moving much faster than what my arms can move. You know, my arms aren't gonna move like this the whole time, but my legs are. So when I would get off the, the bike, 
I would only have like 4,500 steps. Whereas when I got off the elliptical this morning, I had a uh, uh, thousand more. So, uh, you know, I was at, like right now I'm at uh, 57.92. Uh, so I would, I would have only been at like 47.92 or, you know, around that. Uh, so I was having to try uh, a lot harder. I was having to do extra work during the day just to get my 10,000 steps. And I know to a lot of you, it's so easy to get your 10,000 steps. For me, it's not. I work on the computer all day. It's just not is easy for me to get my steps so uh and truly i should be getting more like fifteen thousand steps i would be happier if i could do that but uh there's not enough time in the day for me to do that so but the elliptical it is a lot more of a workout and i had i had forgotten and so yeah but i'm glad to be back at it because now I can do that in the morning, and then if I want to do extra, you know, to get my steps, then I can go and, and get on the bike in the afternoon. So I'm sure you're tired of this subject uh, during this vlog, and I'm sorry, but I just thought I would let you know, because it had been so long since I'd been on that elliptical, and you forget what a workout it is. And it's quite a workout. I thought by the time I was over, I was like praying, please just let me get, get finished. <laughs> I just want to get finished. So I tend to speed up a little bit more because I want to get finished because I, I try to hit a certain number, a certain calorie. Now, when I was on the bike, I just did 60 minutes period and whatever calories I had, I was grateful for. On the elliptical, I make sure that I get to a certain calorie count, which somebody's going to ask me, um, um, 355. I get to 355 calories, and then I'm finished. Out there, I would, I got to the point out there where I was getting like 370, uh, because I was afraid that I wasn't going to meet my calorie count by the time 60 minutes was up, so I would rush. So I would end up actually getting a, a few more calories on the bike, which is cool. But yeah, I, this morning I was just like, I just want to get done so that I can get off here because you, you know, you're sweating and I, I don't like to sweat. <laughs> Nobody does. just woke up but I want to show you how Guido sleeps <laughs> literally this is Kevin's pillow this is my pillow and this is how <laughs> hi chapel good morning this is how Guido sleeps so now where am I supposed to put my head and then Kevin's pillow is halfway taken up I just thought that was funny I thought you all would want to see because he has this big old round body and snores. Yeah, he said, put my head snoring. Sad, sad. Yeah, once Chapel knows you're filming, he's going to move. But look at him. He immediately got up. Kevin and I have a package from Houston, Texas. This is from Natalia. Uh, so Kevin opened it in the car and he already knows what's in here. However, I have no clue. And the reason he did that is because we were going to Kroger after and he didn't want it, it, it to sit in the car. If it was chocolate. If it was chocolate. So I'm assuming whatever it is, it's not anything. It's not that, chocolate. It's not chocolate. So, Intamin's confetti pancake and waffle mix. Look how flat. He got beat up in that bag. <laughs> That's hilarious. Do you think you can fix it? This says, and I love how you wrote this. Six. Um, hello, Tammy and Kevin. I hope you are doing well. I was walk walking through my local Kroger and stumbled upon three different Intamin's pancake and waffle mixes. There were three new flavors banana toffee red velvet and birthday cake and i love how you wrote these 
She wrote Intamins in blue, banana toffee in yellow, red uh, velvet in red, and birthday cake in like colors. all different colors with balloons. So, I just love cute. that. And your handwriting is very, very neat. extremely neat. Looks like a printer. Neat. Yeah. Uh, I have sent you the birthday cake flavor because it looks the prettiest. That would be me. <laughs> Pick out the It does look pretty. It just um, the sprinkles in it. I hope you all will, will try it. Fingers crossed it will be delicious. I enjoy watching your video so much. Thank you for pulling out such genuine content. Say hello to Ashley and Andrew and the rest of the family for me. I will keep an eye out for HEB's Apple Crisp Soda and hopefully send some out for Andrew. Oh, Andrew. Great. Air loves. That. Is that the tall can that we got last? It's no, the, it was uh, different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it's chocolate. Yeah, the yeah. apple crisp soda. Yeah. He loved it. She said, enjoy. Sincerely, Natalia brought to you from Texas. Thank you very much. Uh, this is so sweet of you to send this to mm -hmm. us. Uh, we will pancakes just... or you can make waffles. We don't have a waffle maker, so we can't make waffles. So you just need milk and eggs, eggs and, butter. and butter. That's yeah. it. So we have all of those things. Uh, so it may be a little bit before we make them, but we will be making them. Um, I have a lot of seasonal things that I have coming out, and I have other things that people have sent me. But just know, I will not forget about you. I promise. We will definitely be making these. And I, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the vlog here for the week because um, I I need to go work on it. <laughs> it takes a long time for it. It takes like hours for it to save, believe it or not. Uh, normally, she has a five-year-old computer and won't buy a new one. Uh, we normally talk, I'm ignoring you, we <laughs> normally talk about Big Brother. Big Brother. Um, I'm okay with who's there now. We can, um... Just real quick, Jason went home, the cowboy, is that Jason? The, is that his name? I don't know, the rodeo cowboy guy, he went home. Yeah. The rodeo clown. Yeah, he, went, he home. went home and I was fine with that. And then who went home after that? Somebody else got loaded out too. Um, the the cheerleader the dancer girl oh uh yes yeah. raven raven that's it raven went home raven went home i'm okay with that one i'm okay with her going home too i tell you what i would like to see christmas take it all i like christmas i, do. I, like, I like christmas but you, she i like alex too he she doesn't it. like her i like her i think she's she's a heck of a competitor i mean she's she a heck is. of a competitor but i think there's something I don't trust I like her. her. I, like I don't her. know. There's just Although some... Paul is, if they're not careful, Paul's going to run away. Paul with... will win the whole game. Yeah. yeah. If they're not, if they don't get him out. And he... Josh, is that his name? Josh. Yes. He has tried to tell Christmas. He's been very smart. He has tried to tell Christmas. Look, I'm not trusting uh, uh, Paul. Paul. I'm not trusting him. Uh, you know, and Christmas just. She don't want to hear it. <laughs> she basically said, you said it, now shut up. Yeah, don't ever shut say up, it again. Don't, don't say it again. And I think... I she, think she knows that she can't compete. Not really. So uh, she's so wanting she to get to final three. She to, knows that Paul can get them to final three. Right. And then and she's then, hoping her social game will beat them. Right. And then she can deal with it. Yeah. So I understand that. I really do. She, and she doesn't want to... You don't want to change up your alliance. Somebody you've been with this entire time. Right. Uh, and ruin your whole game. Yeah. And I think that's smart of her. So, but Josh. Well, it's just those three. And, that's smart of Josh. It's just those three and Alex left, isn't it? Yeah. It probably four. is. Yeah. Wow. It so only has like another week. Anyway. Yeah, it's it's coming to yeah. a close. And then I'm excited they're coming out with the Celebrity Big Brother. They announced it. Yeah. Of course, they said it's going to be, I read up about it a little bit. They said it's going to be a compressed version because you can't get celebrities to commit to 90 days. Which is normal. In the UK. Yeah, it's shorter too. It's shorter. But it's going to have the head of household competition, the veto, and the um, uh, nominations and all that stuff is going to be basically the same. It's just going to be compressed into a shorter period of time. So they'll probably eliminate it a couple times a week and soon as one. I think they'll get people like um, The Bachelor or Bachelorette. Yeah, or sports people. Sp yeah, people. Well, one of the comments they made was whoever does the casting for Dances with the Stars That's what I was does an say. excellent job. That was one of the things when okay. they were interviewed about it. They said they do an excellent job of pulling in. Um, I'm kind of amazed that Julie Chen said this. Kind of like um, she was comparing it to the, the Big Brother in, in the UK. Yeah. And she was saying, you know, the 
she didn't use the word has been, but it was basically has been right. that they come into these shows and it boosts their career for a little while because it gets their name back out there. Right. And she said, that's what we're hoping to do is get people like that. And, and you know, even though they may not be a, um, the a celebrities now, a the, the, yeah, A-list celebrities now, they may have been at one time. So like Saved by the Bell people or, you know, people like, uh, yeah. what's her name for, that did the facts of life. And she was on, um, oh, Lisa Welch. She, she was on Survivor. Yeah. And people like that would be interesting. Yeah. They, and the good thing is on um, Big Brother, they don't have to have the, the, um, athletic ability like you would for dancing because I wouldn't be able to dance. Not I'd for be dancing. Sad. I'd right. be so out of breath. I would just fall over after about 10 minutes. But they do stick you in these costumes on Big Brother that I would never, like in bikinis. And I don't know if they'll do that with celebrities. I they might. They, I don't but, know. It depends on how. But anyway, so, I, so they haven't announced who's going to be on it. They actually said they're still looking. So, which It'll I find interesting. It'll probably be a while, don't you Yeah, think? they said this this winter. So oh. I would think probably December or, Feb or January. Probably. Right. Yeah. But we're so, looking, I'm excited we're looking forward to all the shows, the fall shows coming out. Young and, Sheldon, I, that one looks really funny. And we just started one. Uh, we've only watched, there's seven episodes, and we've only watched the first episode. It's called Big Little Lies. <coughs> Big Little Lies. It's HBO. And it's a, it was a book, but uh, it has Andrew Skarsgård and Nicole Kidman and Reese, and Witherspoon. Reese Witherspoon are the main people. Um, but anyway, we've only watched the first episode of that, so we're going to be watching watching more of that soon. Yeah. And one more thing, we watched our first, if you don't follow me on, um, I think I put it on, yeah, I know I did. I put it on Snapchat, and I put it on um, uh, Instagram. Uh, yeah, Instagram, we watched our first Halloween movie of the season. And I know it probably seems early to some people, but there are so many Halloween movies and so you normally we wait too late and then it's too late you know mm -hmm. same so, thing with christmas so we watched one that we had not seen since it came out in the movie theater and that was hocus pocus yeah was it as good as you remember it's a good movie it's a cute movie I, it's very hokey i probably honestly i probably enjoyed it more this time than i did back in the 90s probably. i think it came out in like 93, 93. we probably saw it in 93 because we saw it in the theater um, I probably enjoyed it more as a an adult this at this age than I did then. But it is it's really really corny and uh, but I love the song that Sarah Jessica Parker sings to get the children oh, in. It was yeah. very soft and I don't even remember what it was. But I like that song and um, I'll put a spell on you. Yeah. And I, it was corny, okay? But, but you know, this is the only time of the year I watch like scary movies. I'm gonna try to get her to watch some scary movies. I've got the old It, like the original It. And I've never seen it. We might try to. Book. We might try to watch that. I'm gonna try to convince you to watch. I that. don't mind. Oh, that reminds me. We watched the first episode of oh, American Horror Story. American Horror Story. Yeah, it's gonna be different. It's gonna be different. They're saying it's political. But from the first episode, it's all about clowns. R really, the focus is there's some political stuff thrown in there that really doesn't mean anything. Um, but it's about clowns again. And I had hoped that season, a couple seasons ago with that twisty, I thought, thank the Lord, we're finished with that. I don't have to fool with any scary clowns with the big teeth. I like clowns, but I don't like him, you okay? And I thought, we're finished with that. We don't have to fool with him anymore. And I'll be darned if they're not doing it again this season. I just, I don't like it. I don't, I like happy clowns and, you know, the Emmett K Kelly clowns and stuff like that. But I don't like clowns with big teeth. But he doesn't have big teeth. He has no teeth. I don't like I don't like these clowns, okay? And they're in the grocery store, and they're yeah, scary. They're, they're and, a little weird. It was, yeah. a, it was a weird episode. And it is very, very, very adult. Uh, and if there is a lot of bad content in it, there is a lot of very graphic content. Like I cover my eyes. I don't watch any of the blood at all. Cover my eyes completely. Uh, so just know that if you can't handle that, then don't watch it. And we we don't watch it at the end of the night. I watch it kind of like around six o'clock. That way, by the time I go to bed, I have forgotten about it. You watch other things. Yeah, I watch sweet things, nice things, like the Great British Bake Off or something. You Kitty know, cat, something. Dogs. Yeah, something really <laughs> sweet before I go to sleep. So, anyway, I hope you all have a great week, and thank you again to Natalia 
for uh, the confetti pancake mix. I really appreciate that.